Hello, welcome to Ghost Prime's Reviews. So in this video, I'm taking it back all the way to 1986 with another Mail Away review. Uh, these guys are Spectre, Spygoss, and Viewfinder. And they were available in 1986 via Mail Away only in the United States. In Japan, they were available via retail shelves and they even had their own little box. They were never available in that manner in the United States. They are, they were originally a not diaclone but micro change uh, set of figures and they're very 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 cool uh, these guys they're relatively easy to find on the secondary market but they're hard to find in original form uh, by that i mean non-ko there's a ton of ko's of them there has been since the 80s this thing has been knocked off on the regular for many years so finding all the parts and everything is can prove difficult. If you don't find it complete, it's rough. I'm actually looking for the three missiles. I don't have those missiles, sadly. Um, I'll put a link down there where you can actually look up some of the guides where you could so you could figure out which you have as a KO or an original. But without any further ado, let's get to the review. Okay, first, before we get into it, here is a little tiny book. This actually came with one of the Combaticons. Um, but you can see right here where it says, Inside, a Transformer not sold in any store. Uh, so this is a little tiny book, booklet, where you could order Reflector. And it shows some cool artwork here. The, with him is combined mode. Has a little blurb at the top. Let's see if I have a full focus. There you go. Now... Go ahead and pause it if you'd like to read that. It does say it's not a working camera, which I guess they had to. There it is, Re Decepticon Reconnaissance Robot. $10 plus two robot points, which on the back is the order form. And that's how you got them. Six to eight weeks later, you find them in the mail. But this thing is just a tiny, tiny little fire that was packed into some of the Transformers. All right, let's take a look at the bots and their accessories, at least the ones I have. This is Viewfinder. There's the, the camera barrel. There is the, this actually is a, doubles as a gun to flash with missiles. Um, you get the bots can hold it. This is Spyglass. Uh, my finger out there so it stays in focus. You can see there he is with his weapon and Spectro is the red one. They, I love the fact that they all have different weapons. They all have different robot shapes. They all have different everything. They are very distinctly different, which is different, which is completely the opposite from the cartoon. In the cartoon, they are all based off of Viewfinder here. Now, Viewfinder, as you see, he does hold his gun kind of funny. He can't hold his gun like the others. He doesn't have the same type of fists. I'm not exactly sure why they made that decision. Take a quick look at the, the face sculpts. I absolutely love the face sculpts of these guys. The sticker detail, all the details are very, very cool. I did like, I mean, you get the metal chest there. His face sculpt is just gorgeous. The Septicon logo being an outline is very interesting as well. I, I like the aesthetics of these. These guys have great, great aesthetics. They're all, like, I love the fact they're all very different and they go together very, very well. I would have liked to have seen the cartoon have at least these three, uh, than just being all viewfinder. Okay, and let's start out with viewfinder. Now this guy is called viewfinder for a very specific reason. I don't know if I could get this to work here, but you can kind of see through. Or you can see you're looking through the, the chest here. Uh, that's a very cool little feature. A lot of 80s toys had that. But it's got a cool lens. Um, he's got lovely sticker day detail all the way around. And see, he doesn't have much in the way of fists. I mean, I guess they're molded there, but he can't hold his gun there. He holds his gun on the top of his hand, which is odd. And he's these giant shoulder pieces that cover his head. But seriously, really cool. And he does have a gun. Oh. Stay standing there, buddy. And his gun here. And that's his gun. And that does, as I said, peg in on the side. It is too long. 
So there. And he doesn't have much of the articulation. He can move his legs up. He has he has knees. Legs go back. I mean, I guess articulation is pretty good for generation one. Up there like that and like that. He doesn't cannot move his head at all. His head sort of just goes all the way back. Let's get him to stand up and move on to Spyglass. Now, looking close at Spyglass, he does have a metal chest. Sticker detail. Paint work. Not really much to say on the back. Mine is a little bit loose in the legs, and it's something you got to watch out for in all these. But you can see where his legs move about that far back, that far forward. His knees can only move one direction, which is forward because of transformation. But his arms do do full 360, and he can kind of move out. Uh, his head, I think I can move it, but eh, I'm not going to force it. He does come with an incredibly cool looking gun. And there are some variations on these as well, which you could look up, I believe, on, on websites, uh, French Workshop, which I will link down there. I highly recommend that site. Let's see if I get him to stand. And Spectro, again with a different head sculpt, metal chest. You see the, the legs are facing the opposite way because he has a different transformation. They really went kind of all out on the, the, the set. That's why I'm really surprised that they were not a, a regular retail release in the U.S. They really needed to be. The guns are, I mean, everything's really nicely done. Really, really greatly detailed. I mean, these are very cool. Again, with the articulation all the way around here. Head doesn't turn. His arms go in just for transformation. Legs back. Legs forward and knee bends. And that's it. I mean, he's good for generation one. So, I mean, you get what you can, right? And this is the reflector or the reflector, the, um, the flash bulb here. It doubles as a missile launcher. Um, sadly, I don't have any missiles. And it does have a peg to be held. In a hand, so it doubles as a weapon. And of course, you have the lens for camera mode. There's no place really to put this in when they have them in robots. So they're the three together. So before I get into transformation, let's uh, let's do some comparisons with the newer versions. Now, the newer version was a Generations Select version or maybe it was a San Diego Comic-Con one, um, which I actually found is still available for pre-ordered GameStop uh, on the GameStop website. I don't know how much I trust that, but if you see this and you want those, uh, contact GameStop too if they're actually getting them in because they're it's a really cool set. And for comparison, here is Viewfinder, Spyglass, and Spectro. So they, they look pretty cool. They're pretty cool updates. They are all repaints of the Siege ones with extra parts, which were all purple with all the original colors as the cartoon was. There he is with the original vintage Megatron. So they are quite small bots. being similar in size to an Insecticon. And now to get this guy transformed into a camera. Take out the weapons. I can set those aside for now. And then let's transform viewfinder first. Real simple, that uh, being generation one. Push the arms in, leave these pegs out. The legs back and up. There's actually a little peg right there that fits in the nice little focus, the hole right there. And 
And if I could find that hole, oh, actually the, the legs of this pretty tight. There we go. So they go in place. So you have that. And just take this guy, arms fold back, and his legs fold forward. And that has this piece right here, the stripe in front. And that goes on this side via that hole, that peg. I get to see there's two peg holes, peg, peg. They go right in. There we go. Like so. And Spectro here, his arms fold forward. And his legs fold backward. In the same manner, kind of a backwards transformation. Again, the holes and the pegs. So you have this right here. So from this, you take the lens of the camera and that just frictions on the front. And you take the flash, put that over Spyglass's head. And there you have the camera, which so you could see through it. I, mean, I don't know if that's coming through really, really well, but it, it comes through nice when you look up to it. So you could actually look through it and pretend play with a camera. You kind of see it there. But so that's it, that's very, very cool feature that they have in this guy. So for comparison, here is the updated toy one, modern one. So that's so you can see how these guys compare together. Now you can take this one and put this here, put this little piece um, on this side. So it'll make this black, so it'll give it more of this look. But it, it doesn't really fit too much of the camera mode as this. Uh, this is more meant for the robot mode, so very cool. Oh, there is one thing I did forget. There we go. So he does have the, the flash, which is, do a little comparison on these, very close. They even have this little bit up at the top, which is the, the lever for the missile. Of course, it doesn't actually have a missile, but it's still a nice little added thing to put on there. And he has a stand, which is the guns. But this one, you're just left with the guns by themselves. Either way, Generation 1 Reflector. So all that said, this is a really cool set and I absolutely think it's a must for any Generation 1 collection. He is rather hard to find complete and very expensive on the secondary market. So if you happen to find one for a good price, don't, don't dilly-dally on it. Jump on it. Get it. Uh, even if it's not quite complete, like I said, I'm missing the missiles. I have all the guns, the other and the little uh, flash ball part. So I'm almost there, but I would highly recommend this guy. And he's also come to the various states of disrepair. So we'll look out for that as well. Lots of uh, chipping on the metal parts and chromeware and loose joints. But please hit that thumbs up button if you, if you liked this video. Hit the thumbs down vote button if you have to. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.